हेलो डियर टीचर्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कंप्रेस योर रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो साइंस आफ्टर यू विल कंप्रेस इट देन यू विल बी रेडी टू शेयर द वीडियो विद योर स्टूडेंट्स और विद द वर्ल्ड ऑन सोशल मीडिया नेटवर्क प्लेटफॉर्म्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू टू वेज टू कंप्रेस योर वीडियो वन इज द इजिएस्ट वे एंड वन इज लिटिल डिफिकल्ट ऑल दो इट्स ऑल्सो ईजी one method which is easy method was suggested to me by a instructor like you you can see his name and his comment on the screen and the other method is via an application that i searched and looked and finally i selected it for you so you may be wondering why this is here today this is here because i want to show you how you can reduce your video size and this is my mobile which is recording my video right now after this video is recorded after this intro is recorded i will show you how i am going to reduce its size this video size and then i will show you what is the size after compression so what are we waiting for let's start i will now stop recording my video and then i will take this mobile out now let's see the properties of this recorded video i recorded it with camera this is why it will be available in gallery if you have recorded by a screen casting or by something else it will be available in relevant folder so this is the video that i have just recorded as you can see this is the intro video and let's as you can see the time is 2 minute 30 seconds so this is 2 minute 30 second long video let us see what will be the size after reduction and what is the size right now for that i will go to this more and click on details and as you can see the size is 305 mb it is too much if you want to share it in less network bandwidth the duration is 2 minute 30 second for 2 minute 30 second clip 305 mb is really too much i am going to use two different applications and i am going to share the link in the description of this video so that you can download them both of the applications are for android smartphone let's now work on the first application it is suggested by the professor and the application name is ucut so i will open ucut it's basically a full fledged video editor but right now i am focusing only on reducing the file size i'll talk about other features also but not in this video i will talk about them in other videos when i want to import a video into this application i will click on this plus icon and after that all the videos which are available on my device will be visible i will select the video that i want to reduce the file size as you can see this video is of 2 minute 30 second i want to select this one i have selected it when i have selected it you can see as you can see this portion is showing me selected videos and right now there is only one video which is of 2 minute 30 second i will click on this button if i don't want to add another clip i'll click on this then i will see a preview from this screen i can play it i can pause it i can add a lot of things but i am not interested in that i am assuming that you have already edited your video and right now you just want to share it with your students that's all for that i'll click on save when i click on save it will ask me what quality so if it is 280 pixel quality and what type of quality means high medium or low so 1 1080 pixel decides whether i want to publish this video in full hd or not if it is 1080 pixel based on the type of size i select for example if i select the high one it will be 278 mb if i select the medium one it will be 209 mb and for low quality it will be 140 mb so it's a lot of reduction as you can see because actual size is 305 mb while after applying these reductions method i am going to produce full hd video 1080 pixel video in low quality at just 140 mb if i select high then also it's only 278 mb but 1080 pixel is not really necessary when you are sharing it on youtube or in network in less network bandwidth so i'll select a different 
ratio also means rather than full HD, I will select HD which is 720 pixel. In 720 pixel also, I will select low quality. So now this 305 MB video will be reduced to 62 MB only. If I am satisfied with these settings, I will click on save. It will then save the video. It will take some time as you can see it is converting the video. And as mentioned by the teacher who suggested this to me, he said that although this editor or this app shows advertisement, but it doesn't show advertisement while you are doing your work. Now you can see my video is converting and at that time the advertisement is available. That is bearable. I generally don't prefer application that also shows advertisement while I am doing some work on the application. It will take some time. We have to wait. I am going to fast forward this video so that you don't have to wait for a longer time. After compression is complete, it will ask me for a review. If I am satisfied with the software, I'll give you a review, but not now. So as you can see, the file is now saved and it is also showing you the path where it is saved storage emulated zero u cut here it is saved but i can definitely play this video right here so let me now play this video and you can't see any visible difference what i am going to do i am not going to play the video here because in that case it will be part of this high quality video i don't want that i want you to experience the quality yourself so the clip that i recorded in the beginning i am going to put it in this channel as unlisted and I'm going to give its link in the description of this video. Then this converted clip also, I am going to put it in this channel itself as unlisted YouTube video and going to give the link in the description of this video. This method I've used for other videos also and I've seen the interested teachers has already visited those unlisted videos as well. You can feel the difference yourself. Just go to the description of this video, select for introduction, high quality video, introductory, after compression video with u cut and then you can see the difference as i am seeing the difference the video is looking really good there is no problem with that the students will be happy to watch this video and now we have seen the quality of the video while we are playing it now i want to see the file size of this video so here it is three videos are available and i believe this one is the video which is of same size see two minute 30 second but size is 62.6 MB while the one which we have recorded which is original video is 2 minute 30 second and 305 MB. So this is a very good software easy to use and you can use it to compress the size of your video. Now let's talk about second application. The second application that I want to show you is known as compressor video compressor. So I've already installed it and link is given in the description of this video. I'll go to this video compressor and here from here I can select a video from different folders. So I know the video I've recorded is available in camera folder. I'll select camera folder in the camera folder. Also, you can see this is 304 MB video and 2 minute 30 second is the length. So this is the video that I want to reduce or compress. Then after selecting the video, I'll select compress video. When I select compress video, I see two options, high quality, low quality, and there is third option also, which is custom. So I believe now you know these high quality features and low quality features. These are same as it were presented in the previous application. When we talk about this custom application, you can see here, there is option to remove audio and grayscale this one also. So the video, so let us say if you are making chemistry video, mathematics video, where you are using only one pen. So some teacher use different color pen, but some teacher use only one pen. If you are using only one pen, then you can make it grayscale. In that case, the final video will be of black and white. So the file size will be very lower compared to a colorful video. But this is colorful video, so I don't want to convert it to a grayscale video. Now I can decide the visual video resolution. So video resolution is what? Full HD. I don't want to compromise on video resolution right now, but if you want, you can by selecting this file size and you can see the length of the dimension of the video is written here like 1459 by 820. If you want to make it HD only, 
So 720 should be the last digit. So let us say this 723 because it's not allowing me to write it. Then it's not that important. Video resolution is not that important. You can make it HD, you can make it full HD. The important thing is bit rate. And if you remember in yesterday's video, we talk about bit rate. So bit rate was around 2000, correct? Kbps. Right now, the bit rate of this video is 7526 Kbps. Now I believe you understood why file size is so high. Whatever video you are recording with your camera, the default bit rate is always high. So let's take it to 2500 only. This is front video, so 2500 is absolutely fine. And now, as you can see, the dimension is also 720. After selecting these settings, uh, it should be around 2500 only, but this slider is not letting me uh, reach to the exact location. This is why I am selecting the nearest one. So this is also fine. Now I'll click on compress video. But even before compressing video, you can see the file size. It's 46.3 MB. I can, if I am going to produce in 100%, yani ki full HD, in that case also you can see the file size is now 102 MB. So I will go to 720, this, and now file size is going to be 46.3 MB, this you can see from here. Let's now click on compress video button, click here. It will take some time to compress this video, and after the compression is done, I'll play the video to show the quality of this video. So this application took a lot of time and after converting the video, it is also playing the video. And I can see there is no difference in the quality, means there is no visible difference in the quality. Obviously there is a difference, but I'm also going to share this video's link in the description of this video and title will be compressed video with video compressor. You can click on that video and then you compare three videos and check if there is a difference in the quality and the method that you like and based on the quality that you see on the screen you can select your application and your method this application took a lot of time while the previous application you cut converted it immediately the file size is lower in this case so let's see the file size the file size is 46.3 mb so you can decide which application you want these are the two methods that I like the most among all available applications. So I believe this video will help you a lot as this is the last step that you have to follow before you are going to share your video to the world. With this video, my series of using mobile in educational video creation is complete. I have created a playlist mobile in education. You can watch the complete playlist you will learn how to record tabletop, you will learn how to record your face, this means talking head, you will learn how to create a screencast, you will learn how to create slide cards, and finally you will learn how to compress your video and share it with the public. Now, from next week, I am going to start a complete series on editing tools. I will talk about editing videos in mobile, I will talk about editing videos in PC. Although, I have almost covered a lot of elements of editing videos by using Camtasia Studio, but I will also select some free and open source tools and cover it in my upcoming videos. I will see you in my next video now. Namaste.